So I've been using my MacBook Pro for a while now, and as great as it is out of the box, there are a bunch of hidden settings and small tweaks that make it way better. So without further ado, let's get started. By default, macOS only shows the battery icon in the menu bar, but not the exact percentage. Go to System Settings, Control Center, Battery, and switch on Show Percentage. This way you'll always know exactly how much juice you have left, which is way more useful when working or gaming on the go. Next up go to keyboard and here you'll see text replacement. Here you can set up shortcuts that expand into full phrases. For example, the basic one is OMW, which turns into on my way, or you can make shortcuts for pretty much anything, email addresses, addresses, phone numbers, whatever you use a lot. And the best thing is it works in almost every app. So if you want to have a glance at some files, you know, quickly without opening them, highlight any file and press spacebar. You get an instant preview without opening it. Works with images, PDFs, even videos. Once you start using it, you'll never go back. Spotlight is a great tool, but it isn't just for searching files. It's way more powerful than most people realize. Instead of, let's say, opening the calculator, just hit command space and type in your math directly into Spotlight. You can also do unit conversions or currency. And you even get the results instantly, like why did I not know about this sooner? If your Mac feels slow the second you log in, it's probably because too many apps are fighting to start up automatically. Go to System Settings, General, Login Items and Extensions. Here at the Open and Login, you'll see everything that starts up when your Mac boots. Here, remove everything you don't actually need right away. It makes startup faster and it saves battery life. Now, macOS allows apps to refresh in the background, which is not always ideal. Go to the same menu as before, but this time to the allow in the background section. And here disable everything that doesn't need to constantly update in the background. Depending on what you have disabled here, it can make a huge difference when it comes to the battery life. Now this next one is kind of a no-brainer, I think. Instead of having to press down the trackpad every single time to click, you can just enable a setting and just tap it like any other trackpad. Go to System Settings, Trackpad, Point and Click, and here's Tap to Click. It feels faster, easier, and more intuitive. But let me know in the comments, do you guys use Tap to Click or you don't? By default, Mac OS makes your cursor massive if you shake your finger on the trackpad or you shake the mouse. It's useful once or twice, but honestly, it gets so annoying while working. Go to Accessibility, Display, and down here, turn off Shake Mouse Pointer to Locate. And it's gone. Much, much cleaner this way. Now, a super short one not many people know about. If you swipe on the trackpad from the upper right hand corner, you can bring up the notification center. This is really useful to just have a quick look at notifications, maybe the weather, battery status, and so much more because the widgets can actually be edited so you can customize it pretty much however you want. And last but not least, Hot Corners. Now, Hot Corners let you assign actions to each corner of your screen. For example, you can swipe your mouse into the bottom right corner to instantly show the desktop or even top left to maybe lock your Mac. Go to System Settings, Desktop and Dock and here at the bottom is Hot Corners. Set them up however you like. It's one of those features that sound minor but once you get used to it, you'll never go back. And that's 10 MacBook tips you can use right now. Most of these are small changes but when you put them all together, they make your Mac feel faster, cleaner and just easier to live with. If you found this helpful, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one.